Hello and welcome to this short demo on two of the recent VPARS and Integrity VM I.O. features. These are PCI OLR support on SD2s configured as VSPs and dynamic addition and removal of I.O. devices from VPARS and VM guests. PCI OLR support on SD2 VSPs Prior to version 6.3 of the product, online replacement of I.O. devices on SD2 servers were not supported if they had online VPARS or VMs using the device being considered for replacement. With version 6.3 of the product, this restriction has been removed. Now, if the removal of the I.O. card on the VSP has no system critical impact on the VSP or the VPARs and VMs running on it, then the OLR operation is allowed to proceed. This feature enhances your mission critical experience and prevents planned VPAR or VM downtimes. In this example here, we have an online VM with NPIV HPAs backed by three different FC ports. On using the OLRAD command to map these devices to I.O. slots, we see that the I.O. slots in use by the VM are slots 5 and 7. Now we try an OLR on slot 5 and the result shows that this would have critical impact on the VSP or the VM. So we cannot do an online replacement of the card in slot 5. Now we try an OLR on slot 7. Step 1 has succeeded. This OLR will not have a system critical impact and so the driver instance is suspended and the slot has been powered off. Step 2 would be to replace the card in the slot and step 3 to power on the slot and resume the driver instance. This completes the OLR operation. Dynamic addition of I.O. devices. With version 6.3 of VPARS and Integrity VM, NPIV, DIO, AVIO storage or AVIO networking I.O. resources can be added to VPARS and VM while they are online. This feature comes handy when the I.O. resources of a VPAR or VM needs to be increased on the fly. The online additions could be to add additional networking bandwidth, additional storage capacity or additional I.O. paths for enhanced high availability. This capability is an improvement over VPAR's FIDOTEX where I.O. slots cannot be added online. In this example, we have a VSP with an online guest called Demo Guest, and it has a single NPIV HPA. Here's a screenshot of an I.O. scan inside Demo Guest showing the single NPIV HPA instance. Now we add an NPIV HPA online and once the operation completes, the screenshot of an I.O. scan inside the guest now shows two NPIV HPA instances. Dynamic removal of I.O. devices. With version 6.3.5 of VPARS and Integrity VM, NPIV, DIO, AVIO storage or AVIO networking I.O. resources can be removed from VPARS or VMs while they are online. This feature comes handy if you wanted to remove excess or unused resources from a VPAR or VM in order to make them available to a needier VPAR or VM. This again is an improvement over VPARS V5. Here we have demo guest again and it now has two NPIV HPAs. Here is a screenshot of I.O. scan inside demo guest showing the two NPIV HPA instances. Now we delete the NPIV HPA that we last added and once the operation completes, the screenshot of an I.O. scan inside the guest shows only the first NPIV HPA instance.